looking at the clock on the wall. It is now 11.10 near midnight and I'm preparing for tomorrow's dinner. Tomorrow's dinner is going to be very simple. It is mi sapi or beef noodle but it take ages. We're going to cook something tonight for tomorrow's dinner and I bet you're not going to eat the beef because you don't like beef, do you? Why don't you like beef? You are a beef, non-beef vegetarian. You don't like beef? They eat fish. You like fish? No. You don't like fish. What do you eat? Just chicken. Just chicken. So you are a chicken terrier? Okay. But you eat pepperoni. You like pepperoni, don't you? Yes. You know what's pepperoni from? <laughs> anyway, so so today, uh, tonight, I, I, cook, I got this one, yes, from the cold storage. You know what this is? These are the tendon, the sinew of uh, kettle. Kettle. Kettle, beef. Yes. Cow. A cow. A cow is a female. Uh, bull. A bull is the male. And these are the tendon. At the end of at the end of muscles. Okay? Like from here, that's your bicep, and for the bicep, uh, it, it, it connects to your bone. So your muscle connects to the bone. This is what connects your muscle to the bone. So these, these are. Okay. Now, the, the only problem is, I'm the only one. Will be eating beef tender, nobody else. So, and this will take about you know how long it takes to cook this at least about three, four, four hours or five hours. But so, four hours, but uh, so what time is it now? It is 11 15 now, so another plus five will be. 11, 12, 1, 2, about 2 or 3, but you can cook it tomorrow as well. So I'm going to cut this into small pieces. I mean, remember, my knife is very, very sharp, but this is very hard as well. See the tendon? So this is a, these are the tendon. What's the tendon do? Uh, connect your muscles. Connect your muscle to the bones, okay? Okay, I'm going to cut this into small pieces, and that's enough, okay? That. Oh, yeah. So that's hot water. Smell. Can you smell? No, I don't. That is fried. Come closer. What? What's that? What's fried? Yeah. Fried a stomach. Huh? Stomach. Stomach. It looks like towel, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at like that. I thought towel. it was a towel. Uh, now they, they eat the grass and the grass get in here and then it, you know the bacteria digest the cellulose in the grass and turn into um, nutrients or, or sugar simple sugar so we're going to cut this into smaller bits okay because these these are not meat, these are organ. That also will take about uh, two hours to three hours, depend. It's also depend. Okay, that into that. Now, what? I just combine both tendon and tripe together. Uh, tendon doesn't have any taste, but you know doesn't have any flavor. It's empty. It gives you that very gelatinous uh, texture. Yes. This one here is beef blade. Now that alone 
Remember that the one kilo of these cost 21 ringgit. This one here cost 37 ringgit per kilo, 36.99. This is about less than half a kilo. So this is 18 ringgit. It's been thawed for a couple of days. Um, it, if you are very familiar with uh, with beef, this is the blade. This is the blade. You know what the blade is? You see that thing here is called shoulder blade. Oh. Right? That's that part is the blade. And that is my most favorite cut of beef. That big thing. Mm -hmm. This is the flat iron steak. This bit there. So what you do is you see that that layer of tendon. Okay. So take, if you take the, the beef here and just there, you have two layers and that make beautiful fillet and most, most of our cooking, um, the, our pie, our pasty uh, come from this bit here, that's the nicest bit, you, you don't have a lot, uh, the, the, I'll let it stay there to give that flavor. The silver skin here, okay, this is not good. What, it's poisonous? No, it tastes really tough. It tastes, I tell you what, what it tastes like, it tastes like sand pepper. What? This one here. So if you want to cook steak, you must take it out. You must take that out, you must take that out, you must take that out, and if you see a single white, you have to cut it out. Basically, you take all the silver out, otherwise you get tough. So all that, that silver skin there. For this recipe, I'm going to take the whole thing, everything, and slowly simmer it for about two hours, because you can see the marbling. Come take a look closer. You see that? You see that marbling here? See, that, that fat on top of here is fat. But you see that, that's marbling. And that, those marbling, it says that this is a very, very tasty, very nice, very juicy bits of meat. So, um, I should not cook this more than two hours. Probably one and a half hours should, should be fine. we we'll see how it goes, but one, I think one and a half hours should be fine. Okay, this goes inside the smaller one. And let them cook away. At the moment, I'm not going to put any um, salt because I let them cook first and then halfway through then I put in some salt. It's boiling away for now for about uh, half an hour. Why are you so, cool? This is uh, beef stock. I just want to show you. Uh, beef stock in here. Okay, that's the beef. On the other side, we have the uh, boiling away. We have the tendon and the tripe. You can smell the smell of the tripe. Very, very strong. So I'm going to throw in just one cube of uh, beef stock and put the lid on yeah, in some water if needed that will take a couple, of, a couple of more hours before it gets soft oh there's a little bunny okay. oh, it's boiling away gently get that in some water hi so happy days <laughs> So, salt. Uh, no, sadly. And, probably a lot more salt. Here, I've got this more water in here. Okay, ooh, look at that. Ooh, bubble. Look at the tribe. Yes. So that's the tribe. Look at the tendon. That's, that's the tendon. Uh, take a few more hours. 
It's been two hours already. That's not enough. Another two hours to go. But I'm going to sleep. What? Stop washing around. Like, try. Hit the bell. Last night I put it all in the fridge. I think this needs a bit more cooking because we stopped about um, shy of three hours last night. So that's the beef. That's the layer of fat here. We just take this one out. Okay. Mm. okay. So that fat there. So I'm gonna just throw fat out. That bit there is now sort of gelatinized. That that bit there is quite nice. That bit there, I I never like this this sinew here. It's a bit tough, so you can just easily so sort of peel it out. It it doesn't have that nice texture to it. So normally I just sort of cut it out. It's a bit gritty. No one's okay. So I'm gonna cut this across the grain. Whatever cut you want, it doesn't matter. So this is cutting across the grain. I give you that sort of texture. They, they are very soft, see that? It's very soft, because this is... i show you how it is. See that fat of marbling? And you can cut it... It's causing green. You can cut like this as well, together with the green. Okay, give you that look. That's cutting the grain cutting across the grain. Well, let's see. Mm. Very beefy. This is with the uh, with the grain. Doesn't make any difference. It's just a matter of presentation. But I think. For this proper ask, I'm going to cut it with the grain. It looks a lot nicer. Don't you think so? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm? yeah. Mm. You better be careful because it, it is very, very tender, so they can just break. I'm just going to cover the whole beef with the soup, okay? Making sure it's all moist, it doesn't dry out. If you leave it in the air, it will dry out, it will be that nice. So there you go, we have our beef. Okay. This is our um, mixture of tendon and fried. Ooh, it looks nice. Let's, let's try it out. Mm. Wow. This one. That's enough already. I'm, I'm just going to cut into that uh, size that we use. Okay. Let's try out our So you take this one here. It's going to be very hard. Oh, actually, they're okay. Mm. 
What does that look like jelly? It tastes. Actually, it tastes like jelly. I'm just going to keep this one warm. Okay, we're making the sauce. Uh, we're gonna use galangal, langquas, one of the ginger. Okay. Cut into small pieces. Chili, okay, dry chili. Oh, we need sugar. Okay, I hope that's enough. A bit of salt. And here we're going to dry blend. Using my coffee maker, I cook coffee grinder, of course. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. It's a bit coarse, but uh, so, so just a very simple mixture of uh, salt and sugar. And chili and chili. That's it, isn't it? And. Galangal. Galangal, galangal, that's what I'm saying. Galangal. Galangal. Galangal, galangal. Okay. And vinegar. Splash. A healthy splash of vinegar. Okay, here we go. Garlic. Well, okay. Finally, chop the garlic. Okay. Now we use a lot of oil. This is for the flavoring. This is just the stocks that's coming out from from boiling the um, so so it tastes very 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 beefy but it's a bit too 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 fatty so <clears throat> what we're gonna do uh, add a bit more salt into the food. you can work with uh, oriental herbal soup. Uh, mix, you get that from the store. This time I prefer having it with a bit of pulvil. Okay. Soy sauce. A little bit, just a splash. Okay. You notice on the side we have our garlic. Happily going away. Use the heat later. We're not going to burn the garlic. If the garlic is burned, it tastes a bit bad. You have to throw it away. Uh, let me turn into something a bit brownish uh, that give you that full flavor of the garlic. Let have a taste. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Getting to be brownish on the side. So make sure 
You, you, you want to make it brown, but not burn. Or too white. So, slash off white pepper. My eyes on that. And that is done. Off the heat, off the heat. Okay, off the heat. That's enough. As you get nearer, you tend to get more hectic. So, uh, you're going to build some water. Yeah, a lot of water. Now, we have, remember we have beef, tripe and? Tendon. Tendon. Now, here's another one. Liver. Frozen liver. person that is remember pop this one in okay and I Slices of beef. It will cost for me. I'll take that and some tendon. Here for tendon. Okay. And remaining. Uh, There we are, okay. I'm going to douse it a bit more pepper inside and, and we go up and have this kitchen uh, Mi Sapi beef noodle. Lot of uh, component of beef, the tribe, the liver. The liver is just blanched very, very fast the uh, tendon and the cooked beef and the wonton meat okay uh, just wet it up a little bit okay and this is what they would normally do and here is the sambal sambal is excellent I can smell the sambal looking very very nice okay let's give it Really nice. Let's go for the beef first. Let's see. The beef is so nice. Just perfect. Hi, how you doing? Oh. Okay. Mm, soup is very nice. And then, a bit more of that. I see what come up. Mm. Perfect, huh? mm. ah, this is hot. Okay. Let's see. The tribe. The tribe. What? Mm. Mm. The 
spirit zone. Ooh, it's a lot of Right. Ooh. My mum. Can you don't mind? Okay, let's. The lever. Let's try the lever. This is the lever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lever. And we put some there and probably a few strings of the noodle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Perfecto. I think I'll beat myself. This is very yeah. nice. Would oh, you like to eat some? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So enjoy your beef noodle and try it out and we see you in the next uh, episode of Bramley's Kitchen mm -hmm. like subscribe and ring that bell yes ah bon appetito